cult or the cult of Diana, um, Diana cult of Diana Nemorensis. And that's that's why I t- talked to you about the beginning. We're talking about the queen, the lady, the queen, the town Porci- Porcion Kula, I guess is how you pronounce it. That's uh, very interesting that they would have this here. And so there was temples to Diana um, all over the place in this in this in this place and if you go if we continue down the video i don't know if he's gotten to that point yet but there you'll see uh he walks down through this area and he'll show you where people were actually uh sacrificed in the spot and then you're just going to see more symbols that we have on here the, this is the ixxi which is 911 uh roman numerals for 911 the gate of apollo which is interesting you find these on these coins and this is a big deal 911 uh, you know, as, as you can thing. tell here in america but you see this temple of diana so um according to some historians um they they would i guess all the emperors would set sail and um when they, when they made themselves the stars, this was an uh, interesting thing because this also goes back to Druidism and Celts where they would do kind of a similar thing. They would go to this mountain and they would be worshipped as gods from that point on. So there's parallels there uh, with all this stuff. And so to kind of move on from this, I'm going to, uh, in, in Paul was dealing with this cult of Diana uh, in Acts 19. And so much so that I guess the, the worshippers of Diana uh, were very upset about it. And Demetrius, who was a silversmith, he begged them to stop because he was losing money. He was losing money on the silver uh, gods he was making because Paul was converting so many of these people uh, that worshipped in Ephesus. And basically all of Asia worshipped F- worshipped Diana at this point. All of Asia, can you imagine? All of this this whole area. And here's the scripture here. I'll read it to you guys real quick. So that not only this is our craft is in danger to be set as not. So basically our, our, our craft is to be in danger of being disappearing. Uh, but the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised. So people are going to hate the, the temple of Diana and her magnificence will be destroyed whom all of Asia and the world worshipeth. And so all of Asia and the world worships Diana here. And when they heard these, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of Ephesus. So we see this in this time period where Paul is dealing with this in Ephesus. There's a temple you can see there in the picture that I put out where the whole world and all of Asia are worshiping Diana at this point. This is a huge deal uh, when it comes to Hollywood. And uh, before we go on, David, I wanted to kind of give you an opportunity to talk a little bit about um, about Diana and the 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 rights that go along with that, uh, because I know you've done a lot of study and also on the cult of ISIS. Um, so if you want to explain that a little bit before I move on to our next, you know, kind of topic on Hollywood, I would appreciate it. All right. Um, to understand the cult of ISIS, who better to look at than Madame Blavatsky and her book, ISIS Unveiled. And the cult of ISIS, as John reiterated, is the worship of the goddess under various names through different time periods in the mystery religions. And the people in the mystery religions of old and in the occult today, they believe that this goddess worship will be the unifying element of the final one world religion. Hell, as around that of the Hindu savior, are striking. No Catholic, well-versed as he might be in the mysterious symbolism of iconology, would hesitate for a moment to worship at that shrine of the Virgin Mary, the mother of his God. The Indra Shuba, the south entrance of the cave of Elara, may be seen to this day, the figure of Indra's wife, Indra Nee, sitting with her infant son god, S-O-N god, pointing the finger to heaven with the same gesture as the Italian Madonna and child in pagan Christian symbolism. The author gives a figure from a, de- a medieval woodcut, the like of which we have seen by dozens of old psalters in which the Virgin Mary with her infant is represented as the queen of heaven. And this is the same as Isis, just as John said. And these people understand that. And the concept that John put forward here, and that was showed in the video, of Nimi being a gate. Now, what I believe we're going to see as in Israel, the Kabbalists, they have the four Kabbalistic cities. We tremendously power. Worship is giving admiration to, giving, uh, you know, admiration and exalting a person um, in any way, shape, or form. And so the worship of these stars is major. And we'll talk a little bit more about that and why I believe that uh, that is happening and why why Hollywood's a hub for that. Uh, as we go on, but I want to occult centers that are functioning as gates and people in the occult know that. And if any city would qualify as a gate where things are sent forth to literally pollute the world, I think you it would be hard to find a, a better example than Los Angeles, truly the city of fallen angels.